Prince. Pavel Cernicek, I'm so glad you mentioned him. It was my boyhood hero. You may have noticed my um, my mug uh, that I'm drinking my coffee out of now. The guy was uh, my absolute hero as a kid. Do you know what? It was uh, it was just the nicest guy. They, they, I mean, they they used to go, you know, uh, Pavel is a Jordi. You know, the fans loved him so much. Yeah. No, he was he, you know, he was the thing. The worst thing I ever had to do. Get this right. The nicest right. man. Ever. Pavel Cernicek, right? The nicest man ever. And he he kind of changed. We, we the, the change rooms where we were at uh, Maiden Castle weren't like, you know, like the change rooms are. We, we, we changed it like a sports centre. And the university used to come in. This is true, right? Uh-huh. You, you, I remember, I'll, I'll give you a little link to this. I remember David Ginola sat in from Paris Saint-Germain and was sat in his changing room. And he turned and went, who is this? And there's a bloke turned up to play badminton in the sports centre sat next to him. <laughs> <laughs> because the sports centre could could get changed where we were. We, they did section off in the end, but that's how it was. So, but he, <laughs> the change rooms were shy. They were tight. Now, Pavel used to train his, his, his nuts off, but he used to get such a sweat on. Now, the trouble with Pav as well, um, his diet was spices and onions and, and peppers, and he stunk. Honestly, <laughs> mate. Don't, and I'm not. And lads, because they liked him, and and also you're a bit intimidated. He was six foot four, and he could yeah. handle himself. It was like, oh my god, who's going to tell him he stinks? You know what I mean? And yeah. I got nominated. He got nominated, right? Bez, you got to tell him, right? You know, he's got he's got to change. He's got to get. And anyhow, I remember this day, and I just remember going. I think I got a pack of Shaw, you know, the deodorant and everything. Uh-huh. I took it. In, I thought I've got to make this kind of bit of a joke, and I put it down it, himself. And I put it, and I thought he's gonna go, he's gonna laugh, and his face never changed. And I said, I'm thinking, oh shit, here we go. And he went, what, 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 what's this? And I'm thinking, oh, you don't get it. And I went, and I had to look him in the eye. I go, Pav, mate, honestly, you're humming, you're stinking. When you sweat, you need to put some deodorant and everything else. And do you know what? His face dropped. But do you know what? From that day on, if you know what, you could, you, there was a difference. He, he was really? conscious of. That was the worst, wow. honestly, it's the worst thing I ever got nominated for, ever. Because he, he was the nicest kid in the world. But, hey, things have got to be said at some time. Yeah, it's not the worst. That's not bad. I mean, I heard your story about <laughs> you and Killer Kill, um, Kill Klein oh. nicking, nicking, shaving his head. That's got to be oh, worse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cutting Killer's hair was, yeah, that was the worst. I'm a, well, he's in the top three, put it that way. 